New developments tonight in our investigation into questionable political donations in Quebec and their link to conservative senator Leo Housakis. Last night, we told you about a Montreal construction boss who says he gave Housakis thousands of dollars in illegal donations. The allegations date back to 2008 when Housakis worked for a provincial political party in Quebec. But new accusations emerged today. The CBC's Wendy Mesley has the latest. Elections Quebec is looking into $10 million worth of suspicious political donations from Quebec businesses to all three major parties, the Provincial Liberals, the Parti Québécois and the ADQ. The first fines have been issued, one to a man who was vice president of the ADQ while Housakis was in charge of fundraising. Today, the then leader of the ADQ, Mario Dumont, used his TV talk show to deny any knowledge of illegal party financing. Dumont never mentioned Housakis, saying only, if any illegalities are proven, people will pay for their actions. All mired in scandal. In Ottawa, the opposition leader said it's time to ask some serious questions. Stephen Harper has to get to the bottom of it and find out if the same type of system had been put in place for the Conservative Party. We contacted the Prime Minister's office, but they offered no comment and referred us to Housakis. Housakis is still not agreeing to an interview with us, but to Canadian press, he did not deny getting the $25,000 worth of checks from Zambido. He does ask, though, how would he ever have known they were illegal, that Zambito had reimbursed everyone who signed one? The man who was president of the ADQ and Housakis was the party's chief fundraiser told CBC News he had serious concerns about Housakis's methods. I think there's something suspicious about financing of ADQ. Gilles Taillon, a well-known business leader, says ADQ members kept telling him about donations that looked illegal. Your house is not perfectly clean. Taillon was so concerned he went to the Quebec police and asked for an investigation of his own party. We asked the SQ what happened and were told to get in touch with the police unit connected to the Charbonneau inquiry. They declined to comment today. I gave it to him, I go, I can't do better. And what that. about Zambito's federal donations? Like I said, then he approached me for the Conservative Party. Just last week, Housakis told CBC he'd not done any fundraising for the federal Conservatives back in 2008, partly because he was a member of the board of Via Rail. This is what he said when asked about it at a parliamentary committee then. Since my nomination to the board of Via Rail at the end of 2007, I've refrained from any political activity on the federal level. But now, Housakis has admitted he did just that, telling Canadian press that he did collect $3,000 in legal donations from Lino Zambito for the federal Conservatives. Two months later, Harper appointed him to the Senate. Diana? Thanks, Wendy. Wendy Mesley in Toronto tonight.